Hey YouTubers, it's been a while. Uncle Buck here. Um, got me a shop project and it's actually a, a paying project. I'm doing a job for somebody. Uh, let me uh, show you what it is and I'll be right back with you. It's this bench right here. As you can see, this is kind of rotted off. As best I can tell, I'm going to guess that this tubing is probably about uh, 14 or 16 gauge tubing. It's supposed to have a T on the bottom and uh, there's three of them and they've just kind of rusted and rotted away. So he wants me to put new feet on it because he really likes these benches. So the plan is cut these off right here weld a T together. I've got some caps that I made for the end of the tubing and I'm going to weld that shut so no water can get inside the tubing. It looks like it filled up with water somehow or another and uh, froze because this is all swelled up and kind of rounded down here on the bottom of all those. They just have a little plastic cap on the ends of the, the T's out here and I the only way I can think is it was sitting in a place that filled up with water and it was in standing water when it froze. That's the only thing I can think. But if you could see the bottom when I'm stepping on, it's just crumbling apart. He was thinking I could weld a piece on the end. I said the best thing to do is cut it off here and weld a whole new piece on. I'll have to drill a hole through it. Looks like a 5 16 bolt so that we can bolt this. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There's a, looks like about a quarter inch by two flat that runs along the back to keep some space gray. I said, I will do this for you, but you can paint it. So I'm going to get it all welded together and let him do the paint job. And I'll probably take all these off so that he can paint it well and when I weld it here it won't uh, melt these ones that are real close. Let's get busy. First thing I'm going to do is weld this little square, tack them onto the ends of this tubing that will be the horizontal piece underneath the seat or on the ground. Getting it lined up on there, they fit real nice. Now let me weld it all the way around on all of them. wood pile is right on the other side of the wall of my shop and my little Jack Russell is out there trying to save the world because there's a mouse in the wood pile. What I've got here are the uprights in my mill. I put a stop here, got it all adjusted so I'm going to just drill the hole, take this one out and then uh, drill all six of these since I'm going to be doing enough to for two of these chairs. Let's get her going here. This is not precision. 
than a thousandth work, so getting it real close is going to work okay. Well, I guess it was my bad. Never doubt your little Jack Russell. It wasn't a mouse. She finally killed the possum. She wins. Well, it's the next day. And what I've got here is I've got a piece clamped down to my welding table so that I can slide this piece in here and it will be um, square with this piece that I've got clamped down and I got a piece clamped in here to keep it from getting knocked over because I can't get any farther in than right here with this big clamp. Um, I could tack weld these down but I don't want to do that right now. This will be the upright. I've got a hole here for the cross member that will be bolted to it. I've got a marked, I've got to remark this one where this piece comes in so I've got them centered and they'll be lined up. I wish I could just weld across there but that will raise that up and then I, I will have a problem getting it down on the other side so I'm just going to tack it here and here. Then I can take it out of there, flip it over and uh, tack the other side. I'm just going to go through and tack all of them on the one side. Let me get my welding shirt on and get busy. Now I gotta weld all the way around all of them, but I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way. Give me a little more room.
Well, I forgot to turn the camera on for the last section of this. But here's what I've got. Three of these. Now, I told the guy that I did this for that he can do the painting. What I would do is you would take an angle grinder and grind that seat piece off, bare metal, and then you've just got that bar that goes across the back, grind those all down to bare metal and paint them. I would use a brush like a uh, Rust-Oleum or something because spray just doesn't seem to hold up on stuff like this outside. I'd brush it on or else I'd take it to some place that can dip them and then powder coat them. I don't know how much money he wants to put into it. But I got this done. I got the leg parts done for the other bench he's got. All I need is the bench to tear it apart and weld this on. I'm thinking about making a pattern of the seat part and I could make those pretty easy. Make some single seats or something. I know someone that needs a good seat for their front porch. You know who I'm talking to. Uh, that would make a nice one. It wouldn't have armrests though or a, a place to set your coffee. Thanks for watching.